Hello and welcome to a Blood and Pigment live battle. I'm Guy and today we'll be playing Sloop Wars. Two sloops fighting against each other. Joseph, tell me a little bit about the, how we built these lists. Uh, these are 100 point lists, pretty easy to build. Um, my list, especially being a British list, is easy to build with the, just the starter set. We have basic sloops, uh, no real upgrades. It's a 100 point list, so yeah. fairly small. Very small. Uh, yeah, so pretty minimal. Um, you can play it right out of the box once you get them put together. Uh, Guy has a bit of a weird list. Uh, my list is British Militia, the Pirate Hunter version of it. I do have some cannons. Very hard to make a list with cannons and swivel guns. I got uh, three small cannons, two swivel guns, and one group of uh, sea dogs for both of those, and one group of inexperienced uh, Jamaican privateers with a untested commander. So fairly basic. Yours a little bit uh, spicier. It, it is. Uh, you do have me worried. Uh, we played Bark Wars before with about these same rules, and cannons were deadly in that only when when you only had four. So. This is a little bit... Uh, yeah, more deadly enough, but... <laughs> yeah, a little spicier. Uh, I am also have a Belandra Sloop, uh, because I'm playing the Wabanaki that can take size 2 ships. Gotta play something weird, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and uh, my strategy with, with this, uh, because we couldn't buy heavily built, I wanted models that have a 6 save. So, in the front, I have my Warriors with Bows... And I have uh, with them a regular free commander. This this game, in games this size, it's all about that free commander. <laughs> and on the same deck, I have five warriors without bows that are lying down. So every other hit to that deck is going to be on those warriors with bo without bows, saving on fours. <laughs> so you're just trying not to die until you get a close-up and board me, huh? Board or... I'm all about the killing with bows through uh, through attrition. <laughs> well, I got the British militia that gets to uh, re-roll that uh, fatigue test once it turns. So. They do, <laughs> they do. Uh, on the, my rear deck, I have a group of six young war or young braves with bows. Uh, they're they're there just to, to lay down some firepower, and uh, I do have a cook because I am <laughs> doing the force option Passamaquoddy, which gives all of my units sailors. And because I have sailors, I could use two points to have a cook on my <laughs> ship. So he's going to be providing, even though they're lying down up there, he's going to be passing down for some uh, some omelets, I think I talked about. He's going to be passing those out through the game, making sure everybody is nice and fed during this battle to keep those bows going. This has a bit of a historical precedent. I'm the British militia, and you are the Wabanaki, which are a northeastern um, French allied tribe. So this could be up in uh, New France, New England, mm -hmm. Maine, Canada area. We're going to just play encounter, so we're going to try to kill each other. Uh, we got a couple of shoals out here. Uh, this is going to be up to a six point uh, turn game. 100 points. Let's do it. Yeah, let's have some fun. All right, we're out on the table here. We're uh, getting just ready to set up. We have to roll to see who is attacker and defender, and then we'll determine the wind direction from there. We're uh, doing encounter, so we're just gonna be facing each other. Our ships will be uh, a British militia has nothing, and you have nothing for your bonus as well, right? Nope. All right, I roll. Oh, you jumped two. the table. <laughs> I got a seven, so I win. I'm the attacker. The rolls are no different, really. It just depends, it just changes the, where the wind is coming from. The wind will be coming from my right. And what is our deployment area? We have a four by four table. We have a four by six here, but we're just starting with a four by four. We're chopping off uh, feet on the end. Uh, we're going to be playing with 16 inches from the edge. So <clears throat> we get 16 inches in the middle. All right. Yep. And uh, I am going to deploy and we have to deploy with wind a beam. That means uh, hitting the side of your ship. And two inches forward. So that is my deployment. All right. We get 16, so I can go up to 40 inches away here. I'm as far downwind as I can get, and you're as far upwind as you can get. Is that right? Yeah. Doesn't even look like they were that far away from each other Not either. Not far across the board, yeah. 
All right, I have three units. I assume you do as well. Yes, I do. All right, 100 points. How can I get a full one? Yeah. I have 20 models, so the strike points at fives. I have 20 models, two exactly, so also strike points at five. Very, very even of a contest we have. I have Master Gunner, you have a Cook Clan. All yep. Characters. All right. Here we Equal go. importance on ships. <laughs> I have an event. Oh, boy. You just and use a standard event table because that's what's in this reason black. Yeah, I got a uh, eight. I think that's something bad. I hope so. Here we go. Eight. Inspiring command. The player that drew the event card immediately gains a command point for a the remainder of this turn only. Ooh, fun. All right. Five. Four clubs to your king of spades. Wow. All right. I am going to... I'm starting at four inches. I assume you are as well. Yes. We're both running Balandras, Windward Zero. Yep. I'm going to move four inches forward and activate my warriors that are lying down that do nothing. Pretty exciting. All right. I am going to do a nice turn here, trying to bring my guns to bear. I didn't want to turn towards you because I feared the rake. <laughs> yeah. All right, for what it's worth, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my cannons here. Um, high tech solution here. Over 24 inches. Over 24, so that means we get a plus. base shoot of four. I have plus three to hit because it's eight full range bands and then I have a master gunner. So I'm gonna hit on sixes, I have three light cannons. I got a 10, eight, and four. So I ran two cannons, each light cannon gets two damage dice. So I'm rolling, now I need sevens, because your fortitude is four, right? Yep. And then a range penalty of three. Three. Seven, nine, ten, nine. What? I like it. <laughs> no. Four hits and I'm lucky. On the first shot of the game. All right, uh, I'm going to roll for my command group first. They're saving on sixes. Two dice on six. Eight and a three. One man dies. Not gonna pull the commander. That would be a. Uh, that would be terrible. <laughs> and then uh, two dice on four. Oh, one of the warriors die as well. I like it. This is a uh, resolve for the command group. Looking for sixes. Um, two fatigue on them. And then the warriors that are lying down, also on sixes, one fatigue. That was a good shot. Yeah, four damage and two kills and three fatigue total. All right, and then I get a lucky hit. This is a critical minus one, so I get a four, which turns into a three. Which is rigging. Rigging, so we roll a lucky hit on the rigging table. And we get a six, which turns into a five, which is a sails and spars. Kind of now I forget, is that the one that slows you down or makes it harder to do fancy sailing? Yeah, Sails and Smart does slow me down to three. Ooh, I like it. Right now. All right, uh, that was my Sea Dogs on the main cannons here. That was a club, which wasn't a very intelligent way to activate them. They get three actions, so they're going to reload twice. But I can't even use my Master Gunner to do the optional reload, so that was pretty stupid. But I'm happy anyway. I think that's the wrong side, Joseph. Nobody can see that. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you worried about them, you know. <laughs> All right. You tried reloads. flipping your ship before. I, I was planning on doing that right away, but you deployed up wind, so I can't look like that. <laughs> All right, card two. Cool. Jack of clubs to my eight of clubs. So you're first. Yeah. I'm going to activate my commander. My commander has two command points this action. Uh, he's going to spend one command point telling the uh, rear deck young warriors to fix the sails. They're sailors. They should know how to do this. Come Need on. Need a seven. Need a seven. 
Not a seven. Three. Um, then he's going to tell his own unit to fix the sails. Why not? Oh, Six. one away. Uh, that was the two command points. So now I'll move. Three. Am I under 20 inches now? Probably not. 19 inches. So uh, that is fours with bows. Tens. Or tens. Tens. It's a... Uh, plus fours. Yeah. Plus fours. So these are the command union of warriors with bows, right? Yep. I have um, eight of them right now because it was a unit of eight that lost one plus the commander. And shooting my main deck. Yep. Shooting your main deck with bows on tens. One hit. All right, I'm gonna take it on my sea dogs. I'm afraid. Here we go. I need oh, you're eight. fine. So with the bows, I get to put minus three bonus to my saves. I usually save on seven, so now I save on four. Four. So yeah. I got an eight, no problem. And then I get a resolve check. I get for a five on my sea dogs, and I get a three. But I'm gonna use my faction game, that once per turn I can reroll a fatigue check for mm -hmm. free. And I get a 9, which makes me good. Cool. Now I'm going to rally my commander with my last action. 8 and a 10 takes away all that fatigue. Okay, that's my turn. Alright, I got a club. Um, I'm going to activate my inexperienced uh, Jamaican privateers, and they're gonna go ahead and shoot. Well, we're at, well, it doesn't really matter, but well, we're 19 inches away. Yep, I got six of them. They need tens because the base shoot is seven, so it would be 11s. But uh, extended muskets. Range. Okay, they're gonna tens. Um, I got nothing there. They have two actions, so they'll reload halfway. So they're half reloaded. Um, all futile there, and I uh, move my ship. You only moved three, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's why I tried repairing twice before moving. <laughs> yeah. Last card of the round. Yep. Gonna... Go ahead. Spades. If we're still at 19, I'm going to shoot my swivel guns. You can double check. I'm shaking the table here. There's a, a sea quake. Yep, a little less than 20. Yeah, a little less than 20. All right, this is my command unit. I have one command point. These are sea dogs. Two swivels, six dice, hitting on tens, your front deck. I've got nothing again. Um, they're going to get a free reload. And then I have to choose to use my command point to reload the privateers or these guys. I think I'll use it to reload the privateers. So they're fully loaded, but the swivels have one reload left. They get a free reload off a spade because of the because artillery, expert artillery. Expert artillery crew. And then I move my ship again. Yep. Now you want to get into melee. I don't want to do that yet. You bought all those shaggy cannons. You want to run away like a coward. Not a coward. Like a coward. <laughs> like a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go three forward, right around this shoal here. And Shoals. All right, that's my whole turn. All right. You got your club on your lane. No, young warriors. Yeah, my young warriors are back. Young uh, I'm going to activate them. I get two actions. I'm going to do a dedicated player action to get rid of that sail damage. Target a seven. You got a club, so you get a uh, six, right? Yep. Oh. Ooh, three failed repairs. That's rough. Yeah. And so we have these shoals on the board. Um, but our ships are pretty uh, resilient against the shoal. Yeah. If you get 15 to beat your ship, our drafts are five, and we have we have shallow, shallow draft. draft. So it's like 
So we'd have to roll two tens. Yeah, one percent yeah, chance to run around. I've seen it happen though. <laughs> like, all right, and uh, that's the end of the turn though. All right, we're at turn two. I've got some damage in our ship. We still got that uh, critical hit. I like it. All right. Ooh, we've got high with the nine of spades to my 12 with the uh, hearts. Okay, I'm going to activate my commander and I'm going to move my ship. Your reload, your cannons have two reloads on them right now. Two reloads, but I got a heart here, so I'm... Yeah, you can fully reload and shoot right now, so if I turn three towards you, it'd be a nice rake right now. I recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell those young warriors in the back, you know, that sail damage isn't going to fix itself. Oh, oh I got, got it. it. So I can move your full four again. Yep. Three, and then I'm going to turn one in. All right, let's see you roll a double ten on this shoal. Your red dice. Two and a three. And then my commander's unit is going to uh, quick into the ocean and shoot and then skirmish back. All right. No. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the native uh, ability to get turned off. You got what? Uh, I have quick double skirmishers, um, uh, vanguard, uh, yeah. <laughs> scouts. Um, yeah, all those things don't do much in the ship. Hidden. <laughs> they do have a nice save, uh, but yeah. Yeah, they have a. Uh, so less than sixteen yet? I hope it would be nice. If you wanted to be less than 16. Yeah, we're at less than 16. 15.4. Uh, bows on nine. All right, hit my main deck. Uh, main deck. One, two. Two hits with bows. All right, here's my Jamaican private team. Three on fours, right? Sevens down. Fours, yep. yep. Jamaican privateers roll an eight. Here's the result check, looking for a five. We get a three. They take one fatigue. I could re-roll that. I won't. And then my sea dogs saving on a four as well. We get a four. Ooh. And a resolve check. Six. All right. All right, that's my turn. All right, here comes my uh, cannons again. I'm going to activate the sea dogs on the main deck here. I have two reloads currently. I get a free reload for expert artillery crew on that heart. And then I can use my command point to reload with the master gunner. So that's all reloaded before I use either of my uh, two actions from being trained. Yep. And then I'm going to shoot and then probably reload again. So we know we're at less than 16. We are at less than 16 right now before moving. So I don't think you could get a rake even if you did move. No, I can't get that far, so I'm yeah. not going to move yet. Again, if I turn completely towards you. I was hoping. <laughs> Uh, my cannon base shoot is four. We have the range penalty of one, since so we have eight inch range bands for solid shot. That means I'm hitting on fives, and then my master gunner will bring that down to four. So here's three dice looking to hit on four. Two, three, seven. All right. The first fortune. Something like that. So let's look for three hits. Four, nine, two. So two hits, but. Better than one. All right, so we got four dice. Uh, now looking for fives. Yeah, my whole four two is still four. Yeah, I wish I could. All right, here we go. Six, five, ten. Oh. And two. So that's so three hits and a critic, uh, lucky again. So that's definitely a good deal. All right. Uh, these two are on the people that are standing up. My command unit on sixes. One person dies, and this one is four on the people that are laying down. They're fine. Command unit uh, takes one fatigue, and the people that are laying down take one fatigue as well. All right. 
I use my second action to reload, and then I get to roll on that critic on that lucky hit table again. Yeah. I roll a ten, which turns into a, nine. into a nine, which is a fire, I think. Yeah. Well, these little cannons are doing some pretty good work. All right. Um, we had an interruption here, but we're back. Um, cannons fire. We got a critical fire. That's kind of I know for me and. I no, is it you can't do small arms fire or you can't do musket fire on a fire with a, a deck that's on fire. Small arms or musket. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's any ranged attacks. Okay. All right, I've moved four inches, and that was my main unit of sea dogs. All right. Up. It is it's good. Units on a burning deck may not make any ranged attacks. Okay. Next card. 13 of spades. Do your 10 of hearts. You're up again. You've taken initiative every single <laughs> activation. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm going to have uh, my young warriors, uh, who are apparently my repair crew this whole game. I should have given them a carpenter, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> oh. Uh, they're going to repair. They only get one action, so it's on sevens. A nine! Nine! The fire goes away. <laughs> nice. Um, All right, let's see if you beat your ship. Yeah, I kind of... <laughs> All right. Nope. Not even close. All right, your turn. All right, my diamond. Um, I'm going to activate my uh, Jamaican privateers. They're going to reload one, and then they're going to shoot. It looks like we're more than 12, so that's probably going to be 10s again. Let's confirm. More than 12. Yep. Yep. So I've got six men hitting on 10s. Um, 110. On my main deck? Yep. Okay. Uh, guys standing up. Sixes. Oh. Not sure if the Wabanaki are having a good time today. They're, they're not. <laughs> well, they're fine. There. No okay. Um, so now I have two reloads on those guys, and that's it for them. Last card. I got a diamond. You got a spade. Oh, I didn't move my ship. I oh, yeah, you got to move your ship. You're running away, right? I'm trying to stay on the board, although we can scroll the board, but it's always... No, we neck. can't. If, we can't? Yeah, you run aground if you hit an edge. Who said that? Uh, I did right now. <laughs> no, no, I don't subscribe. <laughs> I don't subscribe. <laughs> but I want to keep my can. So I turn one, move forward three, there we go. All right. I'll activate... Oh, man, overboard. Now, we'll, we can scroll the board if you need to. Uh, I'm going to activate my cook. They get a free rally, or this becomes a rally. Takes care of both of their fatigue. They're going to rally the command group because they didn't get a command point. Their fatigue comes off. So the cook is doing the, his job with the omelets. He is passing out those omelets like mad. Well done. Somebody on this ship is doing their job. And then I have my diamond still. So this is my command unit finally. Um, they have one reload on their swivels. They're gonna take one action to fix that. And then let's see, are we 16 or less than? We are less than. 15. All right, so uh, this will be six dice, two swivel guns. Yep. Hitting on that. Main deck, um, three hits. Dice are working for me tonight. This is uh, two on my command group, hitting on sixes, or killing on sixes. <laughs> two, three. Let's see if I can improve. I, I have to be able to improve that. Okay, only one man dies there. And then... Here, here we go. Then one, four. They're fine. Command group. Uh, no fatigue. The cook group, 
gets one fatigue. All right, then I have my one command point. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the poor inexperienced uh, Jamaican privateer just because I feel sorry for them to reload them. So now my swivels are at two reloads and my Jamaicans are at one reload and my heavy uh, big guns, my light cannons are at three reloads. Is that the end of turn two? Yeah, that's the end of turn two. All right, how's your casualty count? I have five dead, so I'm at one strike point. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to zero dead. Yeah, the bows haven't really put much hurt on me yet. All right, we're going to tidy up, and we'll be back for turn three. Four actions to repair so far. <laughs> All right, turn three. All right, here we are at the start of turn three. Um, I'm going to try to be mean. Uh oh, 12. A 12. So I'm gonna see if I can crank out another shot of cannons just because I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Although hmm? you can, but you're gonna leave your cannons with two re with four reload markers. I might have to push as well. Let yeah. My, my my ship is almost tinder. Yeah. I'm at um, halfway. I'm I have seven damage on my Belundra, so my. I have three more pips of uh, three right now. All right, so I activated with a spade. I currently have three reloads on my light. Uh, actually, look, two reloads. Two reloads. Yeah, so Is that, a, right? uh, that was correct, yeah. Okay, so I have, are you sure? Because you had four actions last time because you activated on heart. So mm -hmm. it was. I ended with one and four. Four. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. All right, so my free reload will take off one, and then my master gunner will take off one. That means I still have one action to shoot. Yep. It's still not a raking shot. Not a raking shot. Couldn't pull yeah. forward enough, but it's still a good shot. Yeah. It looks like we're just over eight. Oh, yeah. So Less you're going to hit on fours again. Uh, so hitting on fours because of my master gunner. So yep. here's three dice. Ranging shot, six, four, seven. All right. Ooh. And now I get all six dice, which is cool. And your uh, fortitude is down to three, so now I'm hitting on fours as well. Yep. It's on four. Um, we got five hits, no tens this time, but I'm happy with that because I think I'm going to get a real critical rather than just a lucky this time. You are because my haul is uh, fortitude is now reduced to two. You did five hits, so that's double. So you get one critical. Here, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna roll the okay, critical roll now. right now. <laughs> Probably a one. Oh, oh a no. ten, a ten. Now, I don't have a magazine store, so. <laughs> it's a stolen ship. It's a stolen English ship, it has a magazine. You, okay, well, let's let's see if there's a, the, the right. stolen magazine. So a uh, 10 is bad, it's a catastrophic damage, it's an instant strike point, um, mm -hmm. and you get a leak, and then we roll again to see uh, just another critical, and if it's another 10, the whole ship blows up. Yep. And we got a four. It's a second leak. Ooh, wow, these cannons are just a pounding for Indians. All right, and let me roll my uh, saves. That was five hits. So three against my command group and two against the uh, cook group. Uh, three dice looking for sixes. That's a 10, a one, and a three, so two die there. One, two, and two of my cook group saving on fours. A two and a six. So one is dead there. No mercy. <laughs> no, not, not apparently. So the Indians can take medium ships, but it doesn't mean they're going to be happy about it. <laughs> it, it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had braves and I was shooting muskets, it might be a little bit different. But I wanted to try bows. Yeah. Um, three dice resolve on my command group. Uh, going to give them two fatigue. Nobody's panicked on my ship yet, which I'm kind of surprised with Always how many dead. people have died. <laughs> it's a bloody deck. Yeah. Uh, 
and then two dice on my cooks. No fatigue there. All right, so now I'm gonna push. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna take the four. So my cannons end with four reloads, so it's gonna be a bit till I can reload them to Yo. shoot again, but I don't want the fatigue from those bows. So uh, that's it for me. All right, uh, I'm going to. Well, I activated it on the spade. Uh, I'm going to activate my my cook, who's going to try rallying, uh, who's going to try rallying my command group. <laughs> Get rid of one of the fatigue. Down to one. Nice. And then they're going to rally themselves. Nope. And then I have to move. All right, next card. Jack of hearts to my one of hearts. Win again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to activate my commander. They're going to move my ship. And I will have them. How many people do I have left in his group? I have two. <laughs> oh two my people. God. <laughs> so tell you what, they're going to try fixing that leak because it might command sink point? my ship. Um, no, I can't use a command point with them because oh, yeah, yeah. the cook already used it on them. So this is dedicated. This is dedicated. Two actions, dropping it to a six. Nine. So they get rid of the leak on their deck. I don't have to. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Now I'm going to shoot. Uh, the command point will be to tell the rear deck. Young warriors, well, Thanks. young young braves, we're underfoot. Um, so it's going to be a plus two, six to shoot. This is the first time they've shot all game. Oh wow! They've been repairing. They've been repairing everything. Six dice at eight on your on your main deck, and they really wanted to shoot because that's three hits. Nice. All right, I got another two on my sea dogs. Looking for fours to not die. I get a four and a nine. I have been very fortunate here. Looking for a five resolve. They get a two. I'm going to re-roll that because that's my faction ability for free. I get a ten. Okay, and then I get one on my Jamaican privateers. They currently have one fatigue. I get an eight, and then the resolve check. Also looking for a five is a nine. So good deal. All right, your turn. All right, I'm going to move my ship here. My ship would be at one fortitude if I brought the Bermuda instead. Yeah, the Belanda, that little extra helps, doesn't it? it? A little bit. I I think I might have also been faster, you know? But it is, it's it's three more points. And in it a hundred point, point game, yeah. Yeah, those three points need to be spent somewhere else. Okay, I'm gonna activate my command group, which is on the swivel guns. I'm on a range of eight oh. inches. Uh, is it less or it's more? It's under eight. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little under eight. But I tipped over my guys here. Ah, uh, free kills. Am I going to lose a game without killing one of them? <laughs> I think I'm about to. <laughs> Could be Could Curse be. you, English <laughs> scum! So uh, we didn't consult each other on our list before we built. So no. <laughs> turns out my list is pretty great counter to your my. Well, we you know I have fatigue, and I have a free fatigue reroll. So yeah, and it's pretty good. And cannons are good. Cannons are really good. Yep, uh, but I had to invest a lot of points in them, but they definitely paid for themselves. I got yeah. my heart. Uh, this is my command unit. They have two reloads on their circles currently. I get a free reload from expert artillery crew. They get one action. They're gonna fully reload, and then we get a second action. They're gonna shoot. I have six dice hitting on sevens to your <laughs> All right. Yeah. The, the I got three hits. Okay. Uh, two on the command group on six. Hey. Two? Hey, you say I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> One on four. Okay. Oh. And then uh, six for command group. Uh, they get a fatigue, and the cook's group gets a fatigue. So fatigue all around. 
so that leaves me with two reloads on my swivels. I am going to Might seem silly, but I'm actually going to rally my Jamaican privateers. All right. On the one dice? On the one dice. Yeah. And oh, fail! No. That was a waste of a command attack. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Last card. Into turn three, you're up again. Heart versus my diamond. All right, we're close. Who do you have left to Now, I you? couldn't move to the forward deck, grapple, and then skirmish back. Afraid not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so your uh, front deck, even though it's not very full, well, it has two units in it, so you can not put a third unit up there and no, move no. through it, but you can't move into it do something. I just that. wanted to be in grappling range for one activation. You made uh, it. <laughs> I did. But even though I would jump up here, grapple, and then skirmish back, I can't do that. No. no. Uh, we are... Skirmish specifically said <laughs> attack as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to attack with skirmish? You have to shoot or melee. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're just over, oh, we're under eight inches. I'm going to shoot with bows. Main deck? Main deck. That's the last unit that you have left is your Jamaicans, right? Yes. So six dice on sevens. Uh, two hits. All right. One on my Jamaican Privateers, looking for fours, right? A seven, and this is the important one, the fatigue check right here before I do my sailors. A one. They get two fatigue, that's what I didn't want. I've already used my faction ability, so they can't do... I'll try again. Uh, and one check on my Sea Dogs, looking for a four to save. A five. I have not lost to a bow yet. And no. fatigue check is a six. So they're fine. And that is, they only have one activation because they're inexperienced. That's right. All right, my Jamaican Privateers, they have two fatigue now, and now they have one action, so they're just going to rally, which is pathetic, but mm. that's what it is. Seven, eight, so they're back in the game. Ooh. And I get to move my ship. Away. <laughs> well, I'm more tempted to actually You could you board. <laughs> I got a Well, look at the, half of them are laying down. Yeah. But I just didn't have any actions to do anything cool. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And I might lose, too, because I have one strike point from the catastrophic damage and one from casualties right now. You're at zero, so I might and I might lose. You still have fortune, right? I have fortune. two fortune, but uh, that's that's a coin flip. That's true, yeah. Because it's six. six results. All right, I'm not going to run away, okay? Ah, Wow, our ship are, ships are locked. Our bow sprits. Remember, bow sprits do not count as part of the ship. <laughs> so they don't count for ramming. They don't count for measuring range. They are just there because they look nice. All right. That's the end of turn three. Okay. So this is... Strike test time. Strike test to not lose the game. Uh, looking for a six. That is not a six, so I use... Five. <laughs> a strike. I use a fortune to re-roll because you kind of have to. You can't You can't give up. A five. I got a five, so I have now lost our Sloop Wars Volume 1. Yeah. In a dramatic fashion. In a dramatic fashion. Um, bows are not good against cannons. I've just proved that right here. All right, we're going to clean up here, then we're going to break down the game a little bit. And yeah. Then we're done. That was nice. That was a fast game, though. It was. All right, the game's over. Let's break it down a little bit. Uh, that was a dramatic game. That was a way. fast, bloody game. <laughs> Three rounds. I I lost hard. That was rough. I did not kill a single model. There was no no Englishman lost his life on that. Got a little bit of fatigue from arrows, but mm -hmm. so uh, the way that. Natives win at sea as they fatigue the enemy out, and that means they have to shoot arrows a lot. Yeah. But unfortunately, I got some critical hits on you. That early critical hit slowing me down. Um, when you're up against cannons, you don't want to be in the slow ship against cannons 
because with eight inch range bands, the the further they're away, it does, range doesn't really hurt a ship. You know, especially once your ship's damaged, watch. your hull starts getting whittled down. Um, they want to be twenty inches away from you the whole game. So I tr I moved to stay away so my cannons could hit a couple times. But instead of shooting arrows, you just had to repair, and you failed I had, two repairs. I had arrows? I pa I failed two my first two repairs in oh, one turn. Game, yeah. I had that event that gave me gave me the extra command point, and I thought, okay, I want to get Easy rid repair. of that uh -huh. that first damage being sail damage, yeah. um, slowing me down to three for the whole game. I didn't want to do that, so I wanted to get rid of it, and it took me three repairs before. Doing it. So that's all that fatigue that you could have laid down on me. And that would have been down. Sh shooting bows four times. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, then uh, once once um, we got into it too and I got rid of that damage, I also could never turn directly towards you while the cannon, before the cannon unit had shot, because I would line myself up for a rake. Right. I was kind of controlling the board with it dangerous possibility of a rake which yeah. would be sad in China. <laughs> it would be <laughs> with a rake you take uh for every hit you take Double. it counts as two hits and you have to split the hits between your decks so it would have murdered my ship especially since you got usually i think uh four and five hits each time my cannons were extraordinarily Accurate. Very good. Yeah. I missed two cannons out of the nine that I shot, mm -hmm. and then I, uh, my damage dice were pretty good as well, and I got a lucky, and then a lucky, and then a critical. Yeah, you're... so every volley was very effective, which isn't normal, <laughs> but yeah. it decided yeah. the game this time. Yeah, the uh, and then I didn't keep the bow damage up, so there was you didn't have to worry about fatigue. British are really good against fatigue, anyways. Like you talked about during the game, <laughs> re-rolling the one failed result <laughs> like fatigue test in the middle i think i took two fatigue the whole game mm -hmm. yeah yeah i didn't shoot very much i only That's shot true. with my my young braves once it's kind of sad I'm in, sorry. Three, in three <laughs> they were repairing the whole time and i had one unit laying down just waiting to board but I, yeah <laughs> well they were there because i wanted to save on fours against cannons right. but even with saving on fours i failed Every time one save, or uh, half the time they fail to save. I never fail, I never failed a four save, and you failed a four save on every Yeah, time. twice. Uh, and then I had six six on my Warriors with Bows, and they were just taking so many hits that most of them ended up dying. I'm down to only two models in the unit. So, <clears throat> a different game. I wanted to try uh, the Wabanaki Pasma and Kawadi. It's a really fun historic faction to play and i wanted to try bows i just painted up my young braves not too long ago i painted up my uh commander the uh the uh, fire on the frontier commander so he's he's a lot of fun i have him on there and i even had meta comet uh king, king philip king philip was my cook he was the one passing out the omelets but i just couldn't i couldn't seal the deal on bows in this uh this range game all right so Looks like we're already ready for volume two of Sleep Wars. Yeah, this was, it felt a little bit like, because our, our, the Bark Wars was kind of the opposite of this, where... That's right, you destroyed me, so... I moved I'm in sorry. close on your Spanish, <laughs> and I threw grenades in, and it was, um, it was exciting. This was, this was a fair game. It felt that way. <laughs> <laughs> but the camera decided it. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, check out our other battle reports on YouTube, and we have lots of battle reports on our blog as well. Um, yep. Drop any questions you have. Hopefully, we didn't make any mistakes here. Um, a lot going on, but uh, thanks for watching. And what's our tagline? Keep your dice ready and the wind at your back. Yar.